Well, this week on the weekly, what is it? We took we take a look at this. It's a fairly interesting device here. We got a motor with pulleys and a belt. Strange looking ring here on the on the actual flywheel. Looks like we got a solenoid. Solenoid seems to work a clutch going in and out. And what this came off of is an older style rigid nailer. This happens to be a finished nailer. So the gun with the battery pack. We pull the trigger. The solenoid fires as it gets up to speed. Well, this is the 18 volt and I worked on several of these but I, I did find it fascinating even though this technology is older now like I say I had, I had this around for a couple years just laying around on the shelf and one subscriber actually uh, commented a few months ago about uh, if I could possibly do a tear down on a rigid hyperdrive I don't have the hyperdrive nailer but it, it did make me think about the parts that I did have that maybe be interesting and I can do a complete tear down on this but it'll be a it'll be a longer video I'm trying to keep these weekly what is it short so if at any time you feel like you want to see more in depth into this if you'll put the comment below I can try to do a separate video but basically this is the main mechanism inside of here anyway. The only thing we're missing here is a printed circuit board for control. It's actually a ribbon cable that comes down. It actually comes across over here. And inside of here, there's also a sensor, basically like an encoder, that picks up the speed off of this magnetic ring on the flywheel. So what that does, when you set your depth of your discharge onto the nail from the anvil, your actual depth selection, apparently it controls the speed and regulation of the motor and that's actually feedback. So with that feedback control, it can be fairly consistent with the speed that this heavy flywheel is moving when you pull the trigger and actually activate the solenoid, what activates the clutch, once it activates this clutch mechanism, with this spinning, as we'll see in the demonstration, it pushes that clutch in and engages, and it can actually bring that anvil down, as we see there. And as this anvil comes down, there's actually cables that's hooked through and goes through in, into the cylinder. And this is just basically a piston. It actually doesn't work off of air like a cylinder, but it's just the anvil and the cables hooked to that piston. Let me coil this back up. Sample straight. One thing to keep in mind as we demonstrate this, we don't have the guide here that we have on this. So here is we have the guide that it comes down and pushes the nail and comes back. The anvil is just above there. So what we'll do is we'll hook up the power supply 
Now this is a rough load on this power supply. It's about all it wants to handle. But it is a little easier to control with like 12 volts on it and it will still work. I can put the 20 volts across the battery pack or or whatever across it and I, and I did so back when I was testing these but for the day on this demonstration I'm going to try to see if we can get it to work off of simply uh, 12 volts. And blue is actually the negative. Go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and hook the solenoid negative or common to that power supply output. I'm going to go ahead and cut the power supply on. Twelve and a half volts. See if I can go ahead and run the motor up. As we get up to speed, we can fire the solenoid. Try a little bit different angle this time. Do the same thing. You get up to speed. You fire again. So I just thought this mechanism was very interesting. As I was working on it, I was really impressed at how well it was made. As I was working on these units, I, I actually did keep, I kept one gun for myself to use and I actually, um, I did keep uh, one of the spare mechanisms that I did repair. Maybe one more small thing worthy of noting when you see a capacitor like that across a DC motor, it is fairly common to see that. What is that for? Well, capacitors across motors can be for more than one reason. If it was a large capacitor, if you think it maybe is for smoothing or for the motor speed or smoothing, that could be true. But in this case, it's a small ceramic cap, really more for filtering. And you do see that across brush motors a lot because the brushes and the arcing does put out high frequency noise and arcs. And it's just simply to try to quench some of those arcs. So it isn't quite so noisy when the motor's running and arcing. Well, next up on the weekly, what is it? Well, what is this? So what is it? We'll find out next week. I hope you enjoyed a look inside of this rigid finished nail, the demonstration of uh, how it works. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.